greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB you are looking at ISTQB JAL tester certification and in this particular tutorial we are going to talk about the sample questions on chapter 2 so far we are done with all the tutorials on chapter 2 should you be looking for any further queries any any doubts clarification feel free to comment below I'll be there to assist you with the same so let's get going with that very first question what we are looking at is which of the following test objective is typically done during agile projects but is not as common on traditional projects so sometimes the questions can be turned around by using the word not so you need to be very careful with those things let's see the options here Our testers write detailed test plans so all team members can understand what will be tested during each iteration now we do not have any heavy documentation being uh, done as a part of uh, the overall uh, uh, agile methodology let's look at B tester are heavily involved in creation of automated test cases which are then used to verify the implementation of the requirements yeah this option sounds good because we preferably have a lot of automation compared to manual in agile which is unique about agile methodology C testers perform exploratory testing in order to find important defects quickly yeah that's common for both it also happens in traditionally equally where we use exploratory testing. D testers collaborate with developers to understand uh, what needs to be tested and I think that's also common in traditional where we can collaborate with developers in terms of review to understand the codes or design and requirements together to see what best can be done so as of now the right answer is B here as per the syllabus and that's the right answer for this question. Question number two, which two of the following statements are true on agile projects? Select two options. Now generally team, uh, when you talk about these type of questions or especially the agile certification examination, uh, they may ask you two options to select and in that case they'll be giving you five options to pick from. So let's see what we have got here. Option A, testers should work closely with developers while retaining an objective outlook. Yeah, this is something important about Agile projects where we work very closely with developers but at the same time we must have an objective outlook separately determined for the testers. B. Test managers do not exist in the organization. Oh no, come on. They exist but they don't have a role play in the Agile methodology. They will be working together with them. C. There is no difference between what testers and developers do in Agile projects. Now, of course, there is a different role. Developers do code and testers test. Developers should rely on testers to create a, the automated regression test. Now, sometime in Agile, developers also can create the automated test for testing. A, a selection of users may perform beta testing on product after the completion of a series of iteration. Yes, we make use of something specific on the beta testing after the completion of iteration. So uh, that is something unique about Agile. So in this case, the right answer will be A and E. And you need to select two options, which is clearly identified in the examination question. So make sure that you select two. Question number three, in an Agile project, which of the following would best denote product quality at the end of iteration six of a new system release consisting of eight iterations? In this question team, uh, they are just looking forward to ask you like what would be the most important thing to be done at the end of iteration six to proceed with the last two iterations. So we need to think it from that way and then uh, assume the statements and pick up the right option. No severity one or two defects were detected during the system testing of iteration six. I think in this statement itself, the first half itself, we know that that we do for each and every iteration, nothing specific about iteration six. Uh, we say big uh, fix bug first is the protocol which we follow in Agile, which you know from one of the tutorial. It's the result of the consumer beta test on the iteration six software release indicate that the system works correctly and that is, has improved productivity. Yeah, that could be something more important from the previous question also you can relate it back that beta testing at this point of time would be really helpful to determine further to we are still on the uh, you know right track see the agile team has been successfully tracking to estimate so with limited variation showing on the burn down charts and i think that should begin at an early stage not waiting for the iteration six to complete all story cards and scope for each iteration up to the current iteration have been marked as done 
but with some technical depth being in our code. Now, it's not mandatory that all the story cards will be up to the mark and completed uh, till the current iteration. You can still have anything pending which can be covered because you have two more iterations to go and you may have these iterations to hold up those things and, uh, you know, finish them at this point of time. So the right answer here will be B, which will be the most relevant answer to be addressed at this point of time. Number four, which two of the following are reasons why automation is essential within agile projects? So that the term teams maintain or increase their velocity. Yes, uh, yeah, that's one of the important things which we generally consider in agile to maintain the velocity. To prevent the test team from being bored with manual testing and repetitive tasks. Oh, come on, that's an unprofessional statement which you can excuse. To retest all test cases from previous iteration, uh, we generally do that, but not as a part of uh, automation specifically. Like the question is about reasons why automation is essential. It's just not because we have to retest everything. It's only from the point of continuous integration. To eliminate regression in product due to high code churn, no, we do regression. We cannot eliminate there. To ensure that the code changes do not break the software build, yes, that is continuous integration where we need to make sure that whatever we have been adding is not breaking the software build so far. So the right answer is 1 and 5th and that is B, which you can pick up as the right answer for this. One last question from this session, that is which of the following is not a typical task performed by tester within an agile team? To automate tests and maintain them to mentor and coach other team members, to produce and update burn down charts, to participate in code analyzing activities. I think that's from the tutorials very much straightforward that to produce and update burn down chart is not a responsibility of the tester. Generally it will be done by the uh, product owner where it will be taking care of that or maybe the scrum master who can internally play the role of doing the same where the charts will be prepared. So. That's all from here team. That completes this particular session on the sample questions for chapter two. Should you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Till then, keep exploring, keep learning, keep understanding, and take care. Happy learning team.